not gonna lie, so I'm using this whole video as just kind of a way to rant on a specific product, that specific product being the one in my hands. And actually it's probably one that a lot of you either own or at least have heard of. It's the, uh, the Apple AirPod Pros. Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Austin Davis. If you're new around here, I do a lot of different content really, uh, specifically just tech related stuff, camera related stuff, primarily a lot of photography and videography things. Today is kind of a little bit different though. I wanted to, well, kind of switch it up and uh, make kind of a rant video. Um, Cause I haven't seen a lot of videos, at least when I've searched, um, that talk about how bad AirPod Pros actually are. I had the first generations and they blew out within the first eight months, the actual like drivers in the in the headphones themselves to where transparency mode just didn't work at all. It sounded terrible. I think it was the right earbud that was just completely not usable. So that was my first experience with AirPod Pros. A couple years later, I decided to grab the second gen to give them another try. And it basically just confirmed everything I had already experienced. So I wanna break that down today. Um, we'll start with just kind of a mini unboxing. In typical Apple form, the unboxing experience is quite pleasant. Um, and the overall quality of you know the materials they use when boxing. It's pretty standard, you open the box, you get your little you know designed by Apple in California thing. There's stickers and the manuals are in there. That's what it looks like when you open the box. I've already opened these um, and then on the inside or the underside of the box, you'll notice this little thing that has like a tab. These are actually the ear tips. So you'll, you'll grab the tab there and then you'll pull it out and as you can see, when you pull it out, it's just kind of like resting there. So then you can just kind of take them out. And then these are the other ear tips for you. So they've got extra small, um, small, and then large. I've actually got the smalls on these the ones in the middle were the ones that came with it. On top of all that, you get a type C cable as well. Um, blending in with the new type C ecosystem that Apple's doing. I also really do like Apple's braided uh, cables that they're doing. Um, I, I will say that's one thing that I've appreciated quite a bit from Apple recently are their type C cables. But anyways, that's all that you get in the packaging. Um, moving it aside, the actual AirPods themselves come in this little pill style um, case. And there's actually quite a few new things on the case. There's a speaker now that allows you to play a sound if you lose them, it'll you know sound out or whatever. I, have, I haven't actually messed around with that. I haven't had these long enough. And then there is a little lanyard, if I can get the focus, a little lanyard um, mount on the side. So you can put them on either keys or, or whatever. And then you've got the actual AirPods themselves, the AirPod Pros, which the design hasn't changed from the first generation. Again, these are the twos. Oh, again, Type-C. Um, port on the bottom there. Again, these haven't changed design-wise from the first generation to my knowledge. So presentation, design, you know, quality, all of that is is great. You know, it's it's Apple. I am an Apple fanboy. You know, I have a MacBook Pro in front of me. I have an iPhone 15. I, I have used Apple pretty much for everything that I do, especially for video editing, photo editing. I just prefer the workflow when it comes to Apple um, and using their devices. That's kind of why I wanted to stick with the AirPod Pros was, or at least give them a second chance is because I like that ecosystem that Apple has between all of their different devices. I mean, this connects flawlessly with my iPhone, connects flawlessly with my computer when I have it open, you know, it just switches between that and my iPad. So, I mean, the, you know, what Apple has designed is quite, quite nice as far as the ecosystem goes, the compatibility with all of its different products. Um, that being said, when you get down to the actual like sound of these things and the performance, they're some of the worst headphones uh, or earbuds rather that I have ever used. And I experienced that with the first gens and I experienced it again with the second gens. So specifically for me, this design that they have with the pros does not fit my ear whatsoever. Um, and I know everyone's ear is different, so I'm sure people, other people have had different experiences, but this weird little, I don't really know what to call it design, just falls out of my ear nonstop. And again, that's probably more of a personal problem, but um, I noticed it with the first ones that I wore, not actually as bad as the second ones, which is kind of funny. 
because uh, I don't think the design really changed at all between the first and the seconds, but by using these second gens, they fall out of my ear nonstop, so especially when I'm at the gym. And that is even taking advantage of the different ear tips that you can use on these things. Uh, no matter which one I tried, I, they just do not stay in my ear. Now, the actual sound of these things, it's not bad per se, but it's not good either. It kind of just sounds like you put a layer of cloth over the headphone and then you stuck it in your ear, if that makes sense. They're not the clearest sounding things in the world. And I mean, I'm just gonna be honest, they, they, I've listened to better earbuds before. Some of the best earbuds I've ever had actually were the Powerbeats 3s, I think. They were the ones that you could take out and just kind of rest over your, your neck, kind of like a, a necklace. Um, those were some of the best sounding earbuds I've ever had. Very deep bass, uh, really clean, just everything else. So I know that the potential is out there for very good sounding earbuds, but specifically the AirPod Pros just miss the mark by a lot. Everything else though is, is great, like the compatibility between all your other Apple devices and the sound control options that you get are great, just the performance isn't. So opening these real quick and throwing them in, I'll show you. You get the nice little animation on your phone that lets you know that you're connected. Going in here, you can see there are all kinds of different options for you to control your environment or how you listen to these things. You have just off, uh, under the noise control tab, you have off, transparency, adaptive, or noise cancellation. Um, Transparency lets you listen to your outside world. It's all in the name. Essentially, the sounds in the outside world pass through the earbud so you can hear. Um, adaptive is kind of interesting. It just adapts to your environment. I noticed when I was in the gym, uh, it did a lot of fluctuating. It was kind of weird. It didn't work that well. Um, and then you have noise cancellation, which just kind of completely blocks out everything um, in your environment. Very good for uh, a really loud AC or the airplanes or you know a gym environment. Um, and it does work good if you have a good seal. Like I, I, I have to adjust mine quite a bit, but when you do have that seal and when it does work, it does do a decent job. I'm not gonna do a complete deep dive into this thing, but the other options you have that are nice are your personalized volumes, your conversational awareness, which is actually really cool, um, and then your loud sound reduction. If you notice, I have two of the three turned on. That's because the personalized volume, I would find it would just turn down my volume all the time. Even if I wanted it at a specific level, it would just constantly turn it down. Conversation awareness is nice. When you start to talk to someone, uh, your noise cancellation turns off and transparency is turned on. So you can actually hear what you're saying. And uh, it gives a little bit of leeway for someone to respond to you. So that is nice without you having to take a earbud out. Um, but I have noticed that it's just easier to take a butt out because by the time you start talking, it is a little delayed. Uh, it's still a nice feature. But so as you can see, there's a lot of cool features to these things that Apple does do a good job including. It's just for some reason, these things miss the mark uh, as far as the overall performance of them goes. Transparency mode is really cool. Uh, noise cancellation is great. Conversation awareness, like all these things phenomenal features to have an earbud, but it just doesn't work that well. And this is my second time experiencing this with the pros. I've used standard AirPods before too, like the Gen 1 AirPods that came out. Those were actually, I love those little headphones. Those were great. And they even sounded pretty good too. And they actually fit better in my ear than these do. So like Apple can make a good earbud. The, I thought the AirPod ones were great. And I haven't actually tried either the second or third generations. Um, I might have to give them a try because I will say one thing, I'm not keeping these, I'm actually returning these because I just, I, I don't know, they, they missed the mark for me. And like I said, the fir my first ones blew after like eight months. I didn't even get a year out of them before they started sounding really tingy. And then transparency mode just did not work at all. I will say I come from using over the ear headphones quite a bit. And so I am a little spoiled with the sound of over ears versus earbuds. And I understand earbuds aren't gonna be as good but like I said, some of the best earbuds that I had were those Powerbeats 3. They, you know, they did go around your ear, but they were still an earbud and they sounded great. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to kind of shop around now and try to find an earbud that works. I've seen the Nothing Buds, whatever they're called. They look cool. I might try them. Um, similar shape to the Pros though, so I don't know. Um, I just, I just kind of have to see what I can find, what fits my ear. Because I think if there's one thing that's like really, because I mean, they, they sound okay. I mean, especially, if you're, if you're just gonna listen to like audiobooks and walk around like watching YouTube or Instagram with your earbuds in, these will work great. These are, these will be fine. Um, but if you're in the gym a lot, listening to music, other things, doing a lot of activity, 
gosh, they just fall out of my ear all the time. And like I said, that's probably just a personal issue with me because I know everyone's ears are different. But even still, I feel like there's a lot left on the table as far as the overall sound quality of, the, of these things go. Uh, like I said, the best way I can describe it is you put like a cloth over the earbud and then you put it in your ear. That's kind of what it sounds like to me. That's it for this video. I don't know. It was just literally just a rant video because this is now my second time trying these things out and being disappointed. So I don't know. Um, if you guys have any recommendations or if you had similar experiences, let me know in the comments. But again, if you have any recommendations for earbuds that uh, fit your ear, especially if you work out, but has good sound quality still, let me know. I do like having sound control options too, like noise cancellation and transparency. I don't know if any other earbuds do that. Um, I'm just an Apple guy that is now going to branch out into other, other companies because of this. So if you watch this video all the way through, thanks. It was literally me just kind of dunking on AirPod Pro. So I appreciate your interest. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button for future content like this. That is it for this video though, guys. Get out there, make something yourself. I'll see you all in the next video.